So, a while back, I made a video, and in the end of that video, I said that I'll be getting an HTC Vive soon, and I'll be making some videos on it. And, I'm still probably going to be making some videos on a different HTC Vive console, kind of like one from the USA, and I'll just be saving up for that instead of the one that I plan to get. But basically, yeah, I got everyone hyped up for this thing, and I was just really excited for it, because... I really love the HTC Vive and I want to try it out as much as I know I can't get an HTC Vive at its full price of a thousand dollars Canadian dollars I still do really like the Vive and I every time I see a deal for the Vive I'll look into it well I saw this deal for an HTC Vive on Amazon.ca for six hundred dollars by this place called Earth Age and when I saw this, I don't know why I didn't think I was not skeptical at all. I thought, wow, this is an amazing deal because I know it's pretty stupid, but I thought that Amazon was entirely safe. I knew that there was going to be crooks on there, but I didn't think that we were going to actually run into them. But basically, I got it. I ordered that $600 HCC Vive, which $200 cheaper than the American version, and it's Canadian dollars just seems too good to be true, right? But... I didn't think that for some reason, I don't know why, I probably would. So a few weeks go by after we ordered it, and yeah, so I'm waiting so long for this thing because I knew it was going to take time because it, there's no way that something that cheap was going to ship that fast. If it was going to ship that fast, then I probably would be more skeptical about it, but I was expecting it to take a while. So the day it's supposed to arrive, nothing shows up. The mailman, though, does, sh does show up with a package, but... He does have an Amazon Prime package, but it's not ours, so kind of false hope for that. And a couple weeks after, I'm starting to get a bit uh, worried that it might never arrive, because it's never arrived. And $600, which is still cheaper than $1,000, it's still 600 bucks. so you obviously are going to be panicking. Then, yesterday, guess what? We check, and... Aha! Uh -huh, apparently, Arth Age, who is selling it... They're scammers. They scammed the crap out of everyone. And the way we know is that, first off, it didn't show up on the day it's supposed to show up, or a couple days after it's supposed to show up. And you gotta remember, this is a couple weeks after it's supposed to show up. And other people who bought this are commenting saying, oh, it didn't show up on time, and it never showed up at all. And then Amazon starts, and then we just get notified, okay, yeah, scammers, it's a scam. And... At that moment, everything get, everything breaks loose because I didn't think that it was going to be a scam. I don't know why I was just looking so forward to getting one. I didn't consider the option, the actual possibility that it could be a scam, but yeah, it was a scam. Now, there's a still a small chance that it might not be a scam and Arth Age might actually be a legit company because... It might show up in the next three days, and if it does, then we'll retract our Amazon thing where we request our money back. Because we're, I hope Amazon's going to give us our money back because they have a policy, and they're going to keep to that. But, of course, I don't think that. I think there's just scammers who want to cash in on the HTC Vive craze, and it worked. And honestly, I have no respect for these people, and I hope that they get sued. I hope they get fined. And I'm glad that they never get to shop on it. So the reason I'm making this video is just to warn people out there who do actually think Amazon is safe. Because I know there's a lot of people out there who think Amazon is so safe, there's zero scammers on it. And I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but there's actual people that think that. And to you, I'm telling you that you got to be careful because scammers are definitely a thing. And you gotta, like, look into everything. And if something seems too good to be true, or, like, if something that's really expensive, like, pops up really cheap, like that Vive, then you're going to want to look into it more. Read the reviews and wait a bit. And if it goes off sale, then you might be thanking yourself for not buying it because... You may have just... So if you did find this video interesting, please do share this video on social media. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. If you have any gaming news stories that I can talk about, please private message me on YouTube with the link. And if you ask, you might get a shout out for... And see you.